Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, we will understand DC or average load current and DC or average load voltage of a full wave rectifier. First, let us understand the DC current or average current of a full wave rectifier. So, DC current or an average current of a full wave rectifier can be given as area under one cycle of the curve divided by base. So, area under one cycle of the curve divided by base is the average current or DC current of a rectifier. Now, let us write IDC is equal to area under one cycle of the curve is from 0 to 2 pi. So, we need to integrate that value 0 to 2 pi integration. So, we are finding the current. We will write it as I d theta divided by base is 2 pi. You divide it by 2 pi. So, this equation can be written as 1 by 2 pi integration of 0 to 2 pi i d theta. Now, the above equation I will write it as i d c which is same as i average is equal to 1 by 2 pi multiplied with 2 times integration of 0 to pi i d theta. So, if you observe here in the above equation we have written it as 1 by 2 pi into integration from 0 to 2 pi i d theta and in this equation we are writing it as 1 by 2 pi into 2 times integration of 0 to pi i d theta. This is because if you observe the output of full wave rectifier for positive half as well as negative half of the input cycle we are getting the output. So, whatever output we are getting from 0 to pi we are getting the same output from pi to 2 pi. So, that is why instead of integrating from 0 to 2 pi we are integrating from 0 to pi we are integrating from 0 to pi and it is multiplied with 2. So, 2 times integration from 0 to pi is same as integrating from 0 to pi. So, that is why instead of taking the integration from 0 to 2 pi we are taking the integration from 0 to pi and we are multiplying with 2. Now, we can cancel out these two 2 and 2 and we know i is equal to i m sin theta d theta. So, substituting this value in this above equation we will get i d c which is same as i average will be equal to 1 by pi integration from 0 to pi i m sin theta d theta. So, in the above equation we can take out i m outside the integration i m by pi integration from 0 to pi sin theta d theta. We know integration of sin theta is minus cos theta. If we substitute that, we will get I m by pi into minus cos theta between the limits 0 to pi. If you substitute the limits in place of theta, we can write it as I m by pi into minus of cos pi minus cos 0. Since cos pi is minus 1 and cos 0 is 1, 
we can write the above equation as i m by pi minus of minus 1 minus 1 so this is nothing but 2 so we can write i d c which is equal to i average is nothing but 2 times i m by pi this is the expression for dc or average load current of a full wave rectifier so it is nothing but 2 i m by pi we know voltage can be written as v is equal to i into r since we are finding v dc we can write this as i dc into rl so we can write v dc is nothing but v average is equal to i dc into rl now we have already find i dc we can substitute that in this equation so we will get 2 i m by pi into rl we know i m is equal to v m divided by r f plus r l. So, here i m is the peak current, v m is the peak voltage. So, you can see here in this diagram we have written v m. So, which is peak voltage, r f is the forward resistance of the diode and r l is the load resistance. So, if we substitute this formula of current in this equation we will get 2 v m by pi into r l divided by r f plus r l. We know r l is very much greater than r f at that case this ratio r l divided by r f plus r l will be approximately equal to 1. So, at that case we can write V d c is equal to V average is equal to 2 V m by pi. So, this is the formula for V d c or V average of a full wave rectifier. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.